there are five things here that you're going to want to do in order to make him feel like he's scared to lose you. And so I'm just going to go over each one of these things right now. The first one is something that we've been talking about a lot. It's the lifestyle principle, which is having a life outside of him, right? Getting hobbies. Like so many women, what they end up doing is they just like, when they get into a relationship with a guy or they start dating a guy, some even like when they start talking to a guy, they like lose everything else that's going on in their life and they end up just getting on this guy. And sometimes it happens with guys too. And, you know, it's not just exclusive to women, but I see a lot of women in our community and women that I talk to doing this. And it can really, really destroy things because what you end up doing is just putting everything in, right? And making everything about him. And it puts a lot of pressure on him and it makes him kind of question like what's going on here. And it doesn't make him feel like you're really special and valuable and amazing. And that's what you want him to do is feel those things. And so what you want to do is get hobbies, have friends that you go and hang out with, you know, have a life outside of him. If you're not exclusive with him yet, what you want to do is make sure that you're still dating other people and still having, and I'm not suggesting sleeping around. I don't think you should be sleeping around, but you should definitely be dating and seeing other guys if you guys aren't exclusive yet, even if you're not really serious about any of those guys, just so that you are feeling and coming from a space of abundance, which I talk a lot about as well. And so uh, another thing that you want to think about in terms of the li- this lifestyle component is that you don't want to have such a full life that there's no space for him or a man to be there. But there's enough things going on so that you don't just end up living your life for him and the relationship that you have together, right? Because I I see a lot of women sometimes that end up, they're like, well, I don't even really have any time to meet or date anybody, (laughs) you know, like I've got this one time, you know, one hour, uh, one day a week for guys to hang out and meet up with me. And it's like, you don't really have space for a man to be in your life. And so you, you don't want to go to the extremes on any of these things. There's a there's a beautiful thing called the golden middle, and that's really where you want to be. Number two is start valuing, loving, and taking care of yourself. And this is a really, really big topic, and it's something that I don't think that we talk really enough about, but it's one of those things where you don't want to so stop putting up with abusive or hurtful behavior, not just from men, but from anyone in your life, right? The the more that you have kind of people and toxic people in your life, the more it hurts your self-esteem, the more it hurts your your feelings of your own self-worth and your own value, right? Your, your self-image, how you feel about yourself is incredibly, extremely important in terms of having a guy feel that way about you. As I talked about in my live stream yesterday, if you don't feel like you're really deserving of a guy, what's going to end up happening, no matter how he feels about it, eventually, if you really don't believe it, you're going to eventually convince him that, that, that he shouldn't believe it either, right? He, he shouldn't believe that you deserve to have him in your life. And, and it ends up sabotaging and destroying everything. And so you, you want to fill yourself full of love. You want to fill your, your life full of love and you want to fill your life uh, full of happiness and you want to create good experiences and live a positive life that that fulfills you and makes you feel good about yourself. And, you know, learn, learn how to talk to yourself in a really healthy and positive way if you're not doing that already and learn to enjoy your your life and and feel good about yourself and what you're doing in the world and and what your life looks like and where you're going in your life it's vitally vitally important and a couple other things involved there too is one is is make sure that you're taking care of your health because that's incredibly important if your health goes away, it can completely devastate your life. And so make sure that you're, you're taking care of your health and make sure that you're, you're taking care, uh, making, making positive emotional experiences for yourself. You can control a lot of the ways that you think and that you feel not only about yourself, but your life. And the more that you kind of take charge of that and experience really awesome emotions for your life, the more that the people around you are going to feel that as well. 
And another one is, is learn how to dress yourself well because that also can help you feel really good about yourself and it, it'll make it so that when he's around you, he'll feel really good about you as well. Number three is allow him to invest in you mentally, emotionally, and with his time. And so the more invested that a man is with you, this is a psychological principle that I've talked about before. The more invested he is in you, the more he'll feel like he doesn't want to let you go. The more he'll feel like he's on your side, like you're a part of a team, like he's really in this for to win it right like that he, he'll feel like you're more valuable the more time he spends with you and the more he invests in you and the more he's connected to you on a energy level the the more that he wins the the more that he feels like he's winning with you on a continual basis it, it's it can be really really powerful so allow him give him ways to win with you give him ways to invest in you connect with him on an emotional level you know spend a lot of time with him one on one in person and and the reason that i say that specifically is because we keep getting all these women that keep talking about oh we've chatted for months or whatever on Insta chat, you know, Instagram or some other chat, Facebook chat or whatever, right? WhatsApp or wherever you're chatting with these guys on. And, and it, it's, that's not the same. It's not the same as being in person. And you want to spend as much time in person as you can because that's really where the magic happens. And that's where he feels that real time investment there. So number four, so there's five of them. And we're on number four. Number four is making sure that you're communicating your needs and desires when the time is right. And so, it, you know, it's interesting. I've, I've talked to a few women about this. And, and a lot of times women think that guys just know what they're supposed to be doing. They think that guys know what kind of a relationship they want. They think guys know all these things. And guys do not know these things, right? Guys have – everybody's been raised in different kinds of environments, especially – if you're from a different part of the country or a different part of the world than each other, you guys might have vastly different ideas about what you should be doing in a relationship, what's appropriate, what is what you know you can get away with with another person, right? And so you need to make sure that you're communicating the right things. You're, you need to make sure you're communicating what you want and what your needs are and what your desires are. You need to make sure that you're setting healthy boundaries, making sure that you maintain those boundaries. And you need to make sure that you know, he knows what it is that you want. Otherwise, he's not going to know what to do there. I mean, he might kind of assume that he knows what you want, but he might be wrong, right? A lot of times guys think that they know what a woman wants and they try to give it to her and they end up totally screwing it up because they have no idea what they're supposed to be doing. And so you need to figure out how to communicate what's going on with you and what your needs are and what you want. And make sure, and I've talked about this in many other videos, but make sure that you don't sleep with guys without being exclusive and knowing what he wants as well. So you need to find out what he's looking for because you don't want there to be any confusion about what you're getting yourself into from the very beginning. And so don't sleep with guys without being exclusive and knowing what he wants and knowing that he wants something more. And don't move in with guys without making sure that you get a ring, some kind of ring on your finger if that's what you ultimately want. And so that that's the 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 thing about maintaining boundaries and communicating your needs so remember that remember that make sure that you're not moving stop moving i keep talking to all these women stop moving into guys places if you're not getting what it is that you want okay what you want is just as important if not more important than what he wants Right, Because it's coming from you and so you need to make sure that you're getting your needs and your desires taken care of first 
right? Before you're making sure that he's getting his needs and desires taken care of. Because if you're not taking care of yourself and you're not making sure that your needs and desires are getting taken care of, you're going to end up feeling really bad and maybe end up getting really resentful in the relationship. And that is a bad way to go. You don't want to go down that route. And so number five, and possibly one of the most important, if not the most important part of this, is that you need to create scarcity. And I've talked a lot about this and, you know, it's not fair and nobody wants it to be true. And don't we all just wish that, you know, we didn't end up kind of taking other people for granted after time, but it's true. And this is, this is a psychological principle that, Time and time again, this is just how things work. And so it's important to know about how things work so that you're not putting yourself into weird situations. And how things work is that if you're around somebody all the time, what's going to end up happening is they're going to take your presence for granted. And it's the same thing with anything, right? And I've talked about this before. If if a guy brings you flowers every single day, eventually you're just going to expect that he's going to bring you flowers and you're going to start taking it for granted. If you eat chocolate every single day, eventually it's going to wear out and it's not going to be special anymore because you're getting it every single day, right? And so it's not amazing that you get chocolate and that's why it's better to eat. If you eat chocolate and you love chocolate, to eat chocolate only once once a month or twice a month or something like that because then it's this awesome experience that you have that you really enjoy instead of this thing that you have all the time that becomes really familiar and it's not that interesting to you anymore. And so if it's something that you really desire and it's scarce, it becomes a lot more valuable and that's what the idea of scarcity is right and so one of the ideas here is instead of sending out reaching out every single day and saying good morning good night with your text messages and stuff which I keep talking to women that are doing this instead of doing it's not bad to send a good morning or a good evening or a good night text or anything like that but what ends up happening is if you're doing it all the time it becomes predictable it loses its its value and it's not as exciting for him to receive it. And so you want to be more unpredictable in this sense. You want to be more sporadic with reaching out instead of doing it every day and every night and every time that he expects you to, because then all of a sudden he's expecting it and you're just going to be doing it. And you, you want to give him some space. You want to give him space so that he can wonder about what you're doing and where you are and who you're with. Because when you do that, all of a sudden he starts thinking about things and he's going, wait a second, you know, and you don't have to throw jealousy in his face. You don't have to throw men in his face because he'll start thinking about that himself. Like, yeah, is she hanging out with just her girlfriends? Is there a guy in the picture? Like what's going on here? Right. And he'll start worrying about it and he'll be like, okay, I gotta, you know, if we aren't exclusive now, we we should probably kind of talk about this, you know, and, and Th- and that kind of thing will start coming up for him, right? And and if he's really, really disciplined and strong, he might hold back for a while. But if, if he really wants something with you and, you know, he's really attracted to you and he really desires you, he might even start bringing up a lot of these topics instead of you having to wait about it. And that's really the ideal scenario that you want to be in. And so another thing is rewarding bad behavior with absence, Right. And so basically this whole thing is what a lot of women do is they when a guy kind of does things that they don't like or they, a guy treats her badly or something, she'll try to communicate and connect with him and do all these things. And, and you want to communicate, but you don't want to kind of attack and try to shame and try to do all those things. But what you want to do is communicate that it's not acceptable for you, that it's uh, something that's breaking your boundary and you want to reward that bad behavior with your absence and pulling away because that is the fastest way for a guy to start paying attention to what's going on is when you start pulling away and leaving because all of a sudden it shows that you're really, really serious about it. If you talk about it and talk about it, one of the big things that a lot of guys talk about in the men's dating space, I used to be in the men's dating space and I used to teach in the men's dating space years and years ago. 
And one of the guy, one of the things that guys used to talk about in that space is whenever a woman would leave them, <laughs> which happens, is they would say things like, oh, when she kept saying stuff like that, like she was going to leave me, but I never took her seriously, right? And if you want him to take you seriously, then give him the gift of missing you. Give him the gift of your absence when you want to discourage bad behavior. So which comes to the next point and the most important point here, which is being willing to walk away long term, right? So if if you're not getting your needs met and you've been seeing a guy and he's not willing to meet your needs, you know, maybe you, you're in a relationship and you've talked about these things and you've communicated these things, you know, maybe you didn't start seeing my videos until last week and you you've been in a relationship for a while and you're in this situation, one of the most important things that you need to know is that you have to be willing to walk away if you're not getting what your your needs met. And the whole point of this is switching your mindset, right? Switching your mindset from being about this guy, this one guy that you want to get into, to have, to catch, to keep, you know, switching your mindset from this guy to the relationship. You know, and figuring out what's more important, this guy having this one guy or having the ultimate relationship that I want to have. And my suggestion is that you focus on the relationship instead of the guy. And, you know, obviously that's going to be up to you because it's your choice and and what you want to have. But my suggestion is that you make sure that you're willing to get what you deserve in your life. And that focus, in my opinion, should be on the relationship instead of the guy. 